They've improved so much, and it's partly in due to this new round-off vault. Layout full to oh. oh. The China doll, as we have affectionately called her the last couple of days, everyone has fell in love with the young lady from China. Oh, that's so unfortunate. You know, she seemed to have everything going for her right here. She had good reach to the horse, fantastic push. I think she was trying too hard to stick it. She was going to put those feet back there and make sure she nailed the landing. We talked about how important it is that the gymnasts in the finals nail these landings. I think she put her feet a little too far back, trying to stick it too hard. She comes into the competition with a 9.7. Remember, Shevchenko is already through. She's in first place with a 19.8. Wilborn is in second with a 19.68. This is Kui Ting, Jin Kui Ting of China. She needed a 10 just to move into second place. And you see her scores coming up now on her first vault. And it's going to be almost impossible, in fact, practically impossible for her to get that perfect 10. Oh, her second vault coming up, 9.35, her first score. And the second vault, forthcoming for Chen Kui Ting. She's four foot seven, 68 pounds. You see why we call her the China doll. Chen Cutie, I think, is uh, <laughs> rather appropriate. We don't know what her second vault's going to be. We've seen her do that vault. She just did for the first vault all week long. But in the finals, the gymnasts are required to do vaults of two different classes. Uh, and a tuck full twist. You just change the body position a little. And still a little problem with the landing for Chen Kui Ting. She really doesn't have a second vault. She basically did the vault she did the first one, but this time she tucked it. And you can tell she's probably unprepared for the finals here because it would have been nice to do that in a layout position or with an, another twist, but certainly a different vault from the first one around. As you look at her, she finished sixth in the team competition. Going into the all-around, she moved up to fourth because the two Soviets couldn't even compete because of the country limit of three. She lost ground in the all-around, finished sixth. Well, she'll also compete later on on the balance beam here, but we await her second score. She got a 9.35 on her first score. Chen Kui Ting of China. Her team won the bronze medal in the team competition. We really saw a new philosophy with the Chinese gymnasts. In the past, they've been very flexible, elegant gymnasts, but not very strong. She shows a good balance between the elegance and the new strength that the Chinese are so trying to achieve. Do you remember, Shevchenko's in first, Wilborn is in second, and we still have Elena Shushinova coming up. And Elena comes in with a 9.95, the highest score of all the competitors in the vault. The second scores for Chen Kui Ting of China. And the judges having a little discussion over there on the sideline. There are six judges on the vault competition. I think part of the discussion here is that she made a mistake by doing basically the same vault as the second vault here. And the judges have to decide if they're going to make that deduction of not only was it not a perfect vault, but she did the vault of the same class that she did the first vault. And, of course, that should be a deduction. 9-4 is the low, 9-7 the high, with three nine sixes sandwiched in between as we look at some of the other judges. You're seeing here uh, Ludmila Tereshcheva, otherwise known as the queen of gymnastics, a very top Soviet gymnast in the past. And she's That's working as a right. referee. She's helping arbitrate when there are conferences and when there are differences of opinion with the judges. 9.65 is now the final score on the second vault for Chen Kui Ting, averaging out to 